I hope you're paying attention. Ethan is doing the right thing for little Ethan, even if it means going against you. Well, the child psychologist... Oh, please, Gwen. Nobody reputable would force a child to be sent away from his family right after he lost his mother. You just don't want him around because he reminds Ethan of Teresa. But you have failed, and you will continue to fail. Teresa will always be in Ethan's heart. Always. I hope you're right, because I can't lose him again. Maybe you should give up your plans of a life with Ethan altogether. Because you will never be able to compete with Teresa's spirit. Ever. Ethan, we, uh, <clears throat> we spoke about this in great detail, remember? I know we did. You know, little Ethan, we really, we really only want what's best for you. And a very, very good doctor thinks that going to boarding school will open up a whole new world of opportunities for you. And you agreed with him and me. Quite I know, but that was then and this is now. And I didn't realize how unhappy it was going to make him. I'm not sure it's the right thing to do anymore. Hi. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but has anyone seen Luis? I saw Luis rushing out of here earlier. Well, where did he go? Went to the hospital. He didn't say why. He didn't say a word to me. Oh, well, fancy, frankly, he seemed pretty upset about something. I'll bet I know why. Okay, thanks. Hey, Fancy. Thanks for the new chemistry set that you bought me. Oh, I'm glad you like it. They're hard to find nowadays, but I remember how much my brother... Fox liked his. Anyway, bye all. Um, hey, <laughs> be careful with that chemistry set, okay? If I recall, Fox, uh, he blew up the gardening shed and almost burned down the stables. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's funny, but it's not. What if some horses had been hurt, right? All right? I'll be careful. I'll go get it right now. Ethan, I think we need to get back on track here. You know, you need to remember what the child psychologist said, that we need to do the responsible thing because obviously little Ethan isn't going to want to go away, right? We know child wants to in the beginning, but if we want him to grow up to be emotionally stable, then we have to send him to boarding school. It's the only way he's going to learn a sense of independence. He was pretty convincing. What? Ethan, my grandson needs to stay here. Pilar... Ethan just wants to do what's best for the boy, okay? His name is Little Ethan. Now, I know you want to do what's best for him, right? I always want what's best for the children. You know that. But sometimes you just have to go with your gut instinct, Gwen. Well, Ethan, not this time. Okay, listen, this is a really unusual situation. We need to rely on the advice of professionals. Little Ethan just lost his mother. I know. And he was just as devastated as I am. But all of a sudden... He seems perfectly okay with it. You know, he even made a joke about sharks yesterday. Because he knows I'm alive. All right, doesn't that worry you a little bit? I mean, he's obviously hiding his grief, which, you know, that could be a major psychological problem. So we need to listen to the psychologist. We need to send him to boarding school. I think we should call the school right now and make arrangements. Look, I, I don't know who this psychologist is, but I do know children. How can either of you possibly think that it's a good idea to send little Ethan away? I heard him make those remarks about the sharks. I, I, I just think it means he's confused. At a time like this, little Ethan needs to be surrounded by the people that love him. Sending him away? It's not a solution. Not if you want him to grow up emotionally stable. We set unsupervised. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Winthrop, I have to agree with Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald. I mean, I've worked for so many families, and well, whenever there's a crisis, the best place for a child to be is at home. Well, Gertrude, thank you so much for your opinion, but yeah, it's really not your decision. Ethan, as parents, we are the ones we need to sometimes make the tough decisions. Gwen, I do want to do what's best for little Ethan in the long run. Oh, well, that's easy. Just uh, look into little Ethan's eyes. 
He wants to be with you. Boarding school? Oh my, that is ridiculous. I mean, can you really bear it to send away a child after losing his mother? Oh. Ethan, look, Ren, I think you've said enough. <clears throat> look, I know that you are going to do the right thing. Because I know you love little Ethan just like I do. Don't make me gag. And besides, we don't need to make this decision right now. We can think about it, and then we can do what the psychologist advised. I, I don't know. Okay. So, little Ethan, that is quite a chemistry set. I mean, fancy went all out. It's all right. You know, um, you know what? They have a pretty amazing chem lab at the boarding school, and lots of really famous scientists went there when they were young. It's kind of cool. I already know a lot about chemistry. Well, you know, they have a pool and a lake there. You might really like it. Okay, we can just talk about that later. Oh, my goodness, there's so many little tubes here. What is that one? Poison. Oh. So, Gertrude, from now on, if I were you, I would keep my opinions to myself, and I would also reconsider whose side I was on. Oh, I know whose side I'm on. The children's. Oh. Then I remember who does the hiring and firing around here, okay? So, I will see you all later. I am going to go take a bath. Later. Ethan, you can't send little Ethan away. You just can't. Look, Pilar, I don't like the idea of sending little Ethan away either. But this child psychologist made a really, really strong argument that it would help him. Oh, my, I can't believe that. Mm, not one second. She's right, you know. Listen to her. Look, let's go downstairs and talk about this some more, okay? Thank you, Gertrude. I think between the two of us, we can convince Ethan that sending my grandson away is just wrong. Oh, I hope you're right, Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald. Oh, call me not, please. Oh. You know, it's strange. I've just met you, and I feel like I've known you for years. Oh, well, I'm glad. Ethan, where that bitch will win. Mm. Gertrude, um, you're the nanny. You're not the maid. You don't have to serve us. It's okay. Oh, oh, I don't mind. Nope. Ethan, mm. I can't say this strongly enough. Sending little Ethan to boarding school, it's a huge mistake. I don't want to do it either. But let me just tell you what this child psychologist said, okay? He's very concerned. Little Ethan is dealing with Teresa's death in a very odd way. You, you have to admit that yourself. He thinks that if he goes to boarding school, he'll develop a sense of independence. And that if he stays here in this, this protected environment, he's going to develop emotional problems, behavioral problems. Oh, little Ethan? never have behavioral problems. Oh, he is the best behaved boy I have ever known. Ethan, uh, look, I know you want to do right by little Ethan, but do you honestly think Gwen and Rebecca have the same concerns? Gwen, don't, don't attack Gwen, please. She and Rebecca went to the trouble of finding this child psychologist. Even Rebecca wants children to be happy. We're all just trying to do what's best here. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Winthrop, um, I had read up on the history of the Crane family, and, well, all of them went to boarding school, and from what I can see, none of them turned out very well. I think that children should stick close to the people who love them, like their grandparents. That's right. She's right. Little Ethan needs to stay close to you, his father. His father? Pilar, why did you just say that I'm little Ethan's father? The, the adoption, Ethan, when it's finalized, you will be his father. Oh. 
Besides, you've been more of a father to little Ethan than Julian ever was. I think he tries sometimes. It's just that little Ethan came along too late in his life. Look, Ethan, as his father, you're going to have to protect him. So you need to keep him here in Harmony where you can watch over him. Well, I don't know. I mean, you, you should have heard this psychologist. Oh. This psychologist? Did he meet my grandson? No. Well, then I rest my case. He doesn't even know the boy that we're talking about. He's never met him. I'm telling you, Ethan, if you send him away to boarding school, it's going to be traumatic. It's such a cruel thing to do, and you heard the boy. He doesn't want to go. <clears throat> Mr. Winthrop, obviously you know little Ethan best. I mean, not a psychologist. So why don't you just trust your heart? I mean, trusting your heart is always the right thing to do. Ethan, I'm sorry to keep harping, but you need to decide. I know. Um, oh, God. All right. All right. All right. I've decided. What are you going to do? Are you going to send little Ethan away? Or are you going to keep him here at home where he belongs? Now, believe me, I know Gwen's heart is in the right place, but I am not going to give in. I'm not going to send little Ethan to boarding school, no matter what that psychologist says, okay? Oh, that's a very wise decision, Mr. Winthrop. Thank you, Ethan. You made me very happy. Thanks, Dad. You know, little Ethan might decide later on that he wants to go to boarding school on his own instead of normal high school. I mean, I didn't like it when I was his age, but when I was oh my God! That's Gwen. What's going on? <laughs> the mad scientist strikes again. What could be wrong? <gasps> Look at me! Oh, my God! What happened to you? Help me, Papa Smurf. Help me. I'll break it out of here. What happened to me? Oh, I'll tell you what happened to me. Little Ethan happened to me. I'll tell you what, the kid is going to school in Siberia. <laughs> <laughs> oh.